hello i'm Morris dimba welcome to this tutorial today we are going to design a billboard mountable or usually installed on flat roofs it's normally a simple steel framework which holds a canvas at vantage point so that the masses can read and see the contents from the advertising agency welcome once again i'm Morris dimba and let's get started right away this is what we want to do let me just turn this around by pressing control and uh, holding my milled button on the mouse I'll be able to turn this around this is the billboard I'm talking about so the mountings this side will be will be on uh, on, on a flat roof and uh, it will be bolted at that bottom end and uh, another support will be placed running from that spot going all the way to the bottom end here and uh, the support is some, somehow like a truss that holds this framework that will be holding uh, the canvas for the uh, to convey the message from the advertising agency. Let me, let me first of all uh, pick on the framework by pressing Alt, and you'll see this is the framework I'm talking about. Let me just turn it around. And I've split it into into sections so that it's it is welded together. So when it comes to erection, it will be just lifted and bolted right on top here. You can see this. You can see at the end at the top end here, it will be bolted right there. And uh, once that has been bolted, and another one will be bolted at the bottom end here, that will be bolted. And another one will be bolted right there and so on and so forth then it it, it is a, an L shape because uh, there's a traffic running from that end going this way and another road going this way so the main targets are the the traffic that is uh, expected to be this particular place so the masses that uh, the people that will be moving from this end we are, we are taking advantage of, of people moving from this end and the people moving from this end so it is some sort, sort of a, a junction so we want to send the message to this traffic that will be converg uh, converging at this point at any particular time so this message that will be conveyed on this billboard will at, at least reach to these people and spread the content from the advertising con agency not from this picked from this uh, uh, billboard to the other people also now let's get started and uh, this is the end point of what will reach after starting from this uh, from uh, from uh, from the start we'll pick it from the start then uh, this is where we are we're heading to let me just turn it once again so that you can fully see uh, what we will be heading to so that you have a clear picture of what we'll be doing in steps this is what we'll be doing perfect though the full reinforcement or the bracings of our supporting frames is not fully finished but this will be done once everything is done now let's just close this and uh, start this afresh perfect now from here we want to get started right away and I'll come to steel and come to uh, column right here and I'll snap right at this bottom end or at this point on the grid line and if you want to see uh, the settings or the dimension from my grid line I'll double click so that you can see the dimensions I used on uh, the grid line here are the dimensions you can if you want to use the same dimensions well and good I'll close that then uh, I'll be using uh, square hollow section and uh, rectangular hollow sections for all the steel framework now I'll double click on this to change this uh, steel profile to uh, rectangular hollow section once that has been clicked, uh, the beam properties or the column properties for this 
particular column will come up here it is and from here we'll be able to change uh, the profile of this still and the size perfect now I'll come here I'll come all the way here I'll come all the way here and click on this button right here to change the profile I'll, cl I'll, cl I'll click on that then this will take me straight to profile catalog where I'll be able to pick on the appropriate uh, still profile in the size okay here we are and I'll minimize this I'll minimize that and I'll go to rectangular hollow sections here I'll click inside here and I'll be able once you've clicked on that plus sign you'll be able also to access this squ square hollow sections which are here these are square hollow sections with or SHS or RHS now I'll go for the rectangular hollow section here and click on that then come to this 90 I'll use 90 by 60 90 by 60 i'll use 90 now from the still profile catalog i'll go for the 90 by 50 by 50 millimeter and uh, three millimeter thick i'll pick on that or you can pick on this uh, four millimeter thickness but in this case i'll work with that so that we cut down on the cost of the steel though that's okay i'll uh, go ahead and then come all the way here and do the same here I'll click apply or, mark or accept the modification so if I zoom close you'll be able to see it has gone slightly deep down in the ground to, to, to see that if I turn this you can see it has gone off the zero mark 0, 0 0.0 mark and I'll, I want it to start right at 0, 0.00 on a ground level to do that i'll come here and change this to zero and also the height of my of, of that uh, of that member i want it to be 6.5 i'll change from that spot and that's okay and uh you can see the color here let me just click that and drag you can see the color here the class is that and i can also change that color by, by clicking on this drop down arrow and pick on uh, a color of my choice i'll pick on green and uh, i'll go ahead and click modify to accept the changes and uh, close this now I'll click on empty screen to exit that command I'll close this let me just mouse over, over this uh, cube and I'll close this though it's very important but at the moment you don't need it so at the moment I'll press control and turn this this round now this is what we want and this is what we're starting from and what we want to do at the moment is to 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 design or to model uh, the the support the the steel frame the steel framework support that will be holding uh, the steel frame for the canvas that will be holding the canvas in place and let's first of all check this length if it's actually in, uh, 7.9 we want 7.9 meters all the way from this end to that end we want 7.9 7.5 of course we'll end up somewhere here so i'll come back to steel here i'll uh, pick on the beam and i'll snap right here and come all the way to this end come all the way to that end and i need to rotate this to a position that uh, will be matching the other part of the supporting member to rotate that i'll close this first and come i'll come to rot, uh, rotation and uh, position I'll, I'll pick on uh, back and click modify i'll close that for the time being and go back to beam go back to beam first of all i have to check that distance this distance from here to here that is eight i need the midpoint from here i want to start I want to start all the way from the at the point in between G and F I'll right click and exit that command and go to beam and snap right here F and G between F and G here and move all the way to this end and snap right on the top here perfect 
it has picked this uh, this beam as a default a profile and uh, just double click on that and we'll change this by clicking on this button here after clicking that we'll go all the way to a profile catalog inside there we'll be able to uh, to pick on the appropriate steel profile and uh, size uh, we are working with the with a rectangular hollow section there here I'll click on that then uh, scroll down to rectangular hollow section right there and come to 90 here and pick on the first one 90 by 50 by 3 millimeter thick I'll uh, go ahead and apply and accept there and come on here come here and click on and click on modify to accept the modification I'll close this now here we are and uh, this is what we're having at the moment so if I come to view and click on rotate I'll have two, two options here for rotation do, do you want to rotate with using mouse or uh, set viewpoint this is these are always the, the simplest pick on that then pick your, your rotation point at, as like that one then press your, your middle button the mouse then press your left button on the mouse and hold and turn that another way you can also press control button on the keyboard then press your middle button the mouse and move around you can be able to turn that round like that as simple as that I'll, I'll right click and click interrupt to exit from that command now here we are and uh, what I want to do now is to weld this member to this member I'll come to applications and component here and uh, I'll type weld type weld right there then pick on this and I want to weld this to that not the right procedure what we'll do we'll first of all pick on the main part the main part will be this column and the secondary part will be that and, and, the, and our weld will be completed like that I'll press control and hold my mute button on the mouse and check our weld this is the weld that, we, that we've created just now click on empty screen right click and come to redraw to refresh everything perfect now we want to start placing our struts for our supporting member for our supporting frame to the main framework that will be holding the canvas for from the advertising agency to do that we'll come to steel once again and click on the beam and i'll snap right from this spot i'll snap right from this spot and just mouse over and place my cursor in that in that line i want i want just i want just to give the direction in which i want the steel to move to and type in the length of that steel member i want i want uh, then first of all type just type 15 or two meters two meters two meters here and i'll go ahead and click ok perfect and right click and click interrupt and if i come here you can see that already in place uh, so uh, what i want to do and just give it an offset of uh, of 1.5 meters i'll right click i'll right click and cl click interrupt first of all click on it right click and come to come to special copy and pick on linear and i want to move it down and to move it down you know we are going against the z axis which is here you can see that it's pointing up but we're moving down by 1.5 meters i'll click that perfect and i'll click ok and now i'll delete that by pressing delete button here again i'll click on that i right click and come to a uh, special copy linear and how many do you want we want around two of these or three and i'll click copy apply and accept perfect now 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 what you want to do and uh, go back to control 
holding the control button holding the control button first of all let's just undo everything so that we get back where we were we don't want this we'll delete that let's delete this joint first then come here i'll press control and turn this round then come all the way to beam and snap at the bottom end here i'll snap i'll mouse over that spot then come all the way to this end at the bottom end here and snap right here at the bottom end here i'll snap on that spot right click and click interrupt and turn this round and now I'll delete that i don't need that once that has been done i'll come back here and uh, press control press control click on that member we want to reduce this member in that direction bring that we'll change this to two meters and enter on the keyboard we'll click on that once again and click on the dimension and want to reduce this by 1.8 perfect and now and now we will weld this to that and weld this to that now if you uh, redraw or uh, refresh this is what we'll be having we'll have this and also we want to add another brace here i'll come to edit here and get a midpoint right here i'll come to points i'll come to points here and click on that drop down arrow and click on that spot and i want a straight line that will be moving all the way to that end and a straight line and that straight line i'll pick it from this spot first of all i'll delete that i'll delete that and bring it back so that i remove this weld before i copy this to the other end i'll, I'll remove that pick on that and uh, pick it from the point from the center here and go all the way and uh, snap it right here snap it right there once I've done that, I'll click on this, right click and click move linear and I'll come here and, and uh, feed, I'll prefix my dim dimension with a negative sign and I want to move, move it slightly down by 500 millimeter. I'll click on that and can click OK. That's it. Now I can, I can go back and uh, bring back, I can bring back my, my welds. I'll, I'll weld that to that and uh, weld this to that and weld that to this perfect I'll right click click on empty screen right click and redraw perfect what do we do next we are continuing with our bracing and uh, we'll come all the way to this spot here We'll come to steel and uh, pick on steel beam and snap at the bottom end there and uh, move all the way to this end press control button while holding your mild button on the mouse and we'll snap right here we'll snap right here right there Perfect. Press control button and we'll snap at the bottom end here. Snap at the bottom end here. Just mouse over that spot and you'll, you'll be able to see that. Then we'll turn round. We'll turn round and we'll be targeting this spot here. will snap right at the center right at the edge of that 
So I check the age of that and that's it. We can also change the profile of this if we want by pressing control and selecting everything here, selecting everything there and double clicking on the last one. Then we come all the way here and change the strats to from 90 to 60 by 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 40 by 3 millimeter thick select on that come here and apply and accept that accept the modification if you want to change uh, the members the struts i mean then click on empty screen and you'll find yourself changing everything right there and that's it we've changed that and we've changed that we can right click and redraw and press control button while holding the middle button on the mouse and you can see that already changed we can continue doing the weld we can weld that to that or you can do we want to we can weld this to that and we weld this to that and this to that already welded that's why you hear the bell that's already welded that's why you hear the bell indicating that this has been welded click, click that to that and that will be welded now I'll press control and turn this round now I want to add another support all the way from this end from the bottom end here but it won't be 60 by 40 I'll pick on that spot and snap right at the bottom end here and uh, press control and turn this round and I'll be targeting a point on that grid I'll be targeting a point right here and I'll snap right there right click and I want to change this member to 90 by by 50 I'll click on that radio button right there and that will take me straight to profile catalog from there I'll be able to pick and uh, RHS I want to pick on 90 I'll pick on this I'll pick on that then come here and apply accept then I, I, I accept by pressing the modification button here then click close we have closed that so this is what we have this is what we have now this is what we have now now right click and redraw that I'll come here and weld this pick that and that and weld to that right click and redraw we're moving well now on top here I want to place I want to place a cup plate and to do that I just come here and click cup and type cup and I'll pick on that then pick on this member then I'll snap at the midpoint right there there we are we have our couplet but the plate is slightly thick we need uh, 10 millimeter uh, we need 8 millimeter not 10 millimeter just double click on that so that we access its window and we, 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 we will be able to change the thickness of that cup plate it is here right now and uh, this is how it looks if you if we have circular hollow section we can have such a couplet and uh, let me go and change the thickness here it is 10 millimeter thickness I'll give it a 6 6 is okay just to close close it I'll change that and I'll close this we can also change the dimension or we can just leave it at, at that spot or the way it looks I'll, I'll redraw to refresh everything then come back and turn this round this is perfect now the next move is to place the the base plate uh, uh, anchoring our our supporting frame to the ground or to the slab 
I'll come all the way in here and type base plate, right here base plate, and, and I'll be able to access uh, the base plate macro that will help me in placing or in creating the base plate. I'll scroll down. I'll scroll down here. I'll scroll down here. Let me just scroll down and come to simple plate, simple base plate. I'll click on that. Then come here and snap on that. Snap at the center right there. And I'll have my base plate in place. What I'll do, I'll just turn that round. Remember, this uh, this will be mounted mounted on top of the roof uh, on flat roofs, and I uh, will be able to use will be using anchoring ep 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 epoxy to 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 enhance the, the strength of the anchoring to 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 make us sure that uh, the support is uh, is reliable in, when it comes to wind loading so the uh, the anchoring epoxy is a v is a very 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 uh, strong adhesive that too is used to enhance the, the strength of uh, the anchoring bolts now we'll do the same thing here I'll click on that spot and i want to copy that and i want to place a base plate right there now this is the the tricky part this is not straight it's not the the macro will not read it read it as a column it will read it like uh, 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 a bent uh, or a, a column that is inclined so the base plate will follow the inclination of this member so if i snap or click right at the bottom end here you'll see what will happen i'll click on it then click on there you can see this base plate the way it looks it won't be very easy to work with what I'll do now, I'll click on it, click on that and delete. Now what we'll do, we'll just copy this, we'll first of all uh, trim this, click on that, and we'll come all the way here and come to come all the way here and uh, we want to trim this part click on that and uh, we want to put a member here that will be running all the way from this end going the, all the way to that end right click and click interrupt this is the basic on how you can tr uh, trim this off so we want to chamfer this end just to, to make it flash with our zero zero level so that when uh, we copy or bring our base plate it will be sitting perfectly on the plate now i'll come to edit then uh, come to part we want to cut this part using this part now if you take a look at the bottom in here select the, the the object to be cut we want to cut this object now we select the cutting part this is a cutting part and that has been done now we can now delete this and uh, click on empty screen right click and refresh and everything will be removed now the next point we want to the next thing we want to do is that we want to copy this this base plate the way it is and to copy it we need to be very very accurate very accurate we'll select on that first of all we have to disable the assembly after selecting that and we disable the assembly by, by clicking on this button then right click and come to copy pick on copy then zoom out and we want to snap on that spot because we want that to sit right at the center of our of our column right here and we'll click on that spot click on that it hasn't copied so what we'll do now we'll click on empty screen once again and we'll click on that press control and, and click on that right click right click and come to copy and we'll copy it from this spot once again let's redo that 
and come here and try and place it right here at the center. There it is, it has been copied. Right click and redraw to refresh everything. We're moving so that you get the concept on how you can do this by yourself. Now we want to weld this member to the base plate and let's bring back now the assembly by, by enabling the assembly uh, button right there. Now I'll just type weld here. Type weld, then uh, select weld right there, pick on that. So we want to weld this to the base plate that has been welded. Then once that has been done, redraw. And that's it. Now if you turn this round, you can be able to see that. Now let's check this length to that length. We'll come to measure and uh, check this to that spot. It is 2.5. 2.5. Now we want to copy this. Press control and disable and deselect uh, the grid simply now. So if we try and generate a drawing, everything will be generated as part of this drawing. Now I'll right click and I'll right click and come to copy. I'll copy this from that spot and copy another one on that spot. And copy another one on that spot. Place another one on that spot. Move all the way and place another one here. And place another one there. We'll place another one right there. And we'll place another one right here. Place another one right here. Now I'll right click. I'll right click and interrupt. Then uh, I'll right click and redraw this so that you can have a, a look on what we are doing right now. This is what we have now. This is what we have. Now we want, we want to mirror, we want to rotate this so that we can, uh, we can create another supporting frame that we will be holding uh, the steel frame that will be holding in place the the canvas that will be will be containing the content from the advertising agency now we want to select this and rotate this press alt and click on that then after doing that right click right click and come to copy special and come to rotate now we have options here you can rotate about a line that you, you will define at any point or you can just rotate using the Z axis, everything to rotate with respect to Z axis here. I'll prefer the, the Z axis. So what I'll do, I want to rotate it at 90 degrees, at 90. Now, having selected this, I'll go ahead and click copy to rotate it. I'll click expand to, to see where it will be located or it will be taken to. I'll click OK. And this is where it is. It has gone all the way to this spot. But there's no problem with this. It's location just OK. What we'll do, we'll just come all the way at the bottom end here. And we want to pick, we want to pick it from a point that it will go straight to the location of we uh, the location we, we intend to place it now to be accurate enough we'll come to edit then pick on the point we'll pick on the line point then we get mouse over this edge to get the center of that edge and mouse over this edge to get the center of this edge uh, our main reason is to locate the center of the of, of this plate click on that right click and come to interrupt and we've got the center of that plate now i'll go ahead and click on this and press alt and click on that once i've done that i'll right click and come to i'll right click and come to move and i'll pick it i'll move it from this point from that point 
then zoom out once i've zoomed out i'll press control and turn this round i'm targeting i'm really trying to place that member or that uh, supporting uh, frame support to this point i'll place it right on that location that's it i'll right click and come to redraw now prior to making any ad adjustments here i'll make sure everything is i'll make sure everything is copied or is, is populated along this line how many do we want we want several of these we want one here and one here first of all we, we have to check the dimensions Will, will they will it accept what we are trying to do from this point to that point is two meters which is okay we can leave it at two meters now we'll we'll press again the alt then uh, right click and come to special copy and pick on linear and we want to populate this along the ax the, the, along the x axis but it will be in the on the on the opposite direction of the, of the x-axis you can see at the bottom end here the x-axis is actually pointing at us now having changed zero uh, the z-axis to zero will uh, go to the x-axis and feed prefix our dimension of two meters with a negative sign and how many do we want here we want close to 10 of this not really 10 but for six let's first of all try by six We'll click on that perfect that has been created and click OK click OK right click once again right click and redraw press alt and pick on this right click and come to copy and now we can copy these individually and place that one right there and place another one right there perfect right click and interrupt right click and redraw now if we come to control press control and turn this round this is what we're having now then we come to modification part What we'll do now, we'll now delete this. We don't need that. And uh, when you come here, we don't need this. This will not stretch all the way to where it is. We'll just click on that and drag it slightly up. Or we can just leave it the way it was by clicking undo. Then uh, first of all re refresh everything by clicking redraw then come and click on that once you click on that come to this dimension and we want to decrease that i'll click on that and come here and change that dimension i'll change that dimension i'll change it right here I'll change that and give it a try with 8 meters and enter on my keyboard. It will decrease. Click on it once again, click on it once again, and click on that. We'll change this to 7.5. We'll see that it works. If it will work much better still not moving to the right point we'll delete that we'll give it six meters six point two six meters is okay and click on that it has moved so much click on that and we just type seven meters let me just remove that seven meters 
and that's okay. And what we'll do now, we'll weld this to that. Perfect. But this now will be done on site. The welding will be done on site. Now, if you, if you press Control and turn that round, you can see what we've done. And this one also will be removed. Anything that will be clashing with the other will be removed. This one will re will remain in place, and others also will remain in place. The one who is just uh, trimmed off is only one that is is clashing. Was clashing with the with the other supports. That's okay. That's okay. Now, always don't forget to save your work because you never know what might happen to the power supply and you may, might end up losing all uh, your work. That's it. And this is what, is what we're having now. Perfect. If I switch back to the top view, we'll have that. This is what we'll have. This is what we'll have. Perfect. Switch back to isometric view, and this is what you can see. Now, thanks a lot for watching this video and this channel. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that uh, we continue learning Tekla free of charge. And uh, let's meet then. I'm Morris Limba, and bye bye. If once again, don't forget to subscribe. Let me just turn this round so that you can now have a clear look of this. This is the main support. So the next uh, tutorial will be on how to on how we will be uh, connecting or uh, placing our the main steel frame that will be holding the canvas the, uh, the the advertising canvas will be held in front here just the way i showed you on the previous uh some minutes back on how it will look at the at the end of it though the full bracing of this steel frame support is not complete and we'll go step by step on how to do that bye bye once again and let's meet on the next presentation please once again don't forget to subscribe